stars, planets, galaxies. Everything we see in the universe is rotating. Actually, it turns out from the physics point of view that rotation is a natural state of any system unless this motion is dissipated by some external cause. A physicist will tell us that rotation in the universe is due to conservation of angular momentum. While this is true, it does not provide a very insightful answer. Perhaps a simpler approach is to understand that gravity implies rotation in a very natural way. Let us imagine two particles, alone in the universe, feeling each other's attraction. One might think, in a simplistic manner, that they would accelerate towards each other and collide at the center. However, this is true only if we start with a situation where both particles are completely at rest with respect to each other, which is utterly improbable. In practice, one expects that the particles have some relative velocity. As soon as there is a little bit of velocity that is not directed towards the center, we are going to have this situation. Here, gravity produces an orbital motion in which both particles end up in orbits around the common center of mass. The red cross here represents the system's center of mass. In this animation, velocity is represented by a yellow arrow and gravity as a brown arrow. Here we can see velocity and gravitational pull at various points along the trajectory. Gravitational attraction, combined with a little bit of initial speed, gives rise to stable orbits around the center of mass. All the various structures that we observe in the universe, from galaxies to stars and planetary systems, are formed by the collapse of matter under the influence of a gravitational pull. This animation is an intuitive illustration of why all these systems are rotating and how their angular momentum is preserved. The physical properties of this rotation do not change with time unless they are changed by some external force. Interestingly, the universe as a whole does not seem to be rotating. Current observations show that its angular momentum is zero down to the accuracy that we are able to measure. This absence of cosmic rotation is intriguing. Perhaps there is some deep reason behind it. Or perhaps it doesn't even make sense to talk about rotation when we are referring to the whole cosmos. But that is another story and shall be told another time. <laughs>